What's up guys, welcome back to part 2 of our basic self-defense for women video. Um, in part 1 we obviously covered the basics of how to make a proper fist as well as how to punch and we had Happy test out a couple of punches against Jonas. As you said in the beginning or at the end of that video, um, the nails and the actual punching hurt your hand a little bit. Yeah. So in today's video we're going to go through a couple of other strikes that you can do that might be a little bit more effective for women in a self-defense situation. All so right. to start we're going to do a basic open hand strike, striking with the palm of your hand. Right. Very similar to the punch that we did, but instead of punching with the two knuckles we're going to be pulling back our fingers and you're going to make impact with the open palm of your hand, pulling back nice and tight. So from here, strike, one, two, three, there we go. Very, very simple. When you're going to do the strike, you're going to want to aim at underneath the chin, lifting up his chin, striking his head backwards. Okay. Very effective when you, you want to hit him on the bridge of the nose. You can actually break the nose. Break the nose up, his eyes are going to start watering, you can push him away, you can get out of the situation. If you strike him on the throat with the open hand, can grab and that is where those nails get in handy. Mm -hmm. Using your nails uh, as a weapon afterwards, obviously striking on the nose, you can grab into the eyes. Okay. Like I said in the video one, um, self-defense isn't uh, pretty and it's not going to be um, as clear-cut as it is in the movie. Sometimes you need to be willing and prepared to do something that might not that might injure this guy permanently, let's put it that way. So if you have to stick your finger into his eye, rake his eye out to get him away from you, yeah. get into safety, you need to be mentally prepared to do that. So the techniques that we're doing here are obviously very dangerous, but can be very effective when used properly. So for now, what we can do is we're gonna do a basic open hand strike, just striking with the palm of the hand against the bag, like we did with the punch, yeah. and from that we're going to go into a bit more of a slapping technique as well. Okay. Give it a go, maybe try three or four. Alright. Here we go. How did that feel? Yeah. You could obviously hear and you could feel the impact there. It's a very strong technique and it saves you your knuckles and the inside of your palm. Okay. Besides punching with the palm of your hand, open hand strike, we can slap as well. Most women already know how to slap, hopefully. But a slap in a fight can be a very devastating technique, especially if you slap him on the eardrum. Okay. You can burst his ear, uh, burst his eardrum, give you opportunity to get away again. So all of these techniques, we don't want to get into a long fight with this guy. We're not built to be fighters. These are just techniques that are going to help you create a little bit of distance between you and your opponent and hopefully get to safety. So for now, we're going to practice a couple of nice Hard slaps against the bag. Right. Imagine you slapping Jonas in the face. Okay, cool. Okay, go. Very good. Cool. So we have slapping, we have punching with the open hand, which can obviously then go into scratches and choking, that kind of stuff. Other than that, if your opponent is a little bit closer to you, yeah. sometimes you don't have space to punch, then we're going to want to start using our elbows as uh, elbow strike. Um, is something that you don't need a lot of space to do but can be very very um, strong when used correctly. Okay. When you do an elbow strike you can obviously strike straight up, mm -hmm. sideways, strike down, you can strike backwards if your opponent is behind you which we'll get into one of the later scenarios okay. but the elbows very very strong. Give it a go. Right. Try. Get nice and close. Put your whole body weight behind it. And like we did with the punches, you want to keep your fist nice and tight. Ah. And that's going to make your whole forearm nice and solid too. I see. There we go. Very cool. Obviously in a fight, you want to maybe hit him in the jaw. Strike him down. Ah. Upwards, if he's taller than you, strike straight up. Okay. And then push him away. And run. Run. That's going to be the best option. Try to get out of the situation. You don't want to get into a long fight. Especially yeah. if weapons and other things start coming out. Okay? Yeah. So, that was a couple of basic hand strikes, we've done the fist now, we've done some open hand strikes, some scratching, and we've done a slap, but we have two legs as well, and legs can be very, very beneficial in a self-defense situation, because they are longer than our arms. Okay. So, part three of this video, we're going to go into a couple of the most basic kicking techniques that you can again use in a self-defense situation. Mm. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys stay tuned for that part three.